my name is Lizzie. Each fortnight I'm bringing along a different origami fold to encourage you to take some time out for yourself. That time for self-care is so important for resilience. Um, this is very much for my colleagues at UCLH Hospital as well as patients as well, but it's for everyone to use. So this this time I thought I'd bring along a, a one of my own folds really. Um, obviously it's based on the traditional um, with connected cranes. I came across this um, lovely, lovely piece showing how you can fold these, this idea of connected cranes. So you've got one piece of paper with little slots. So you have to cut little slots and then you fold them. And this picture is so beautiful, I thought it'd be quite simple. It's not simple, it's incredibly difficult. And um, I experimented a bit. I, I was trying to do four together. I found that very hard. Um, I ended up finding that I really liked two, the idea of two coming together. And then I suddenly realized that with the slots that you cut, you could include a heart. So I think it's fairly novel and um, just glad to pass this on. Uh, to me, it says everything I love about origami, the sense of community and connection and that it's this shared love and care so this is also i think very much dedicated to yumatomo in japan an amazing group of volunteers and um, people with dementia and how much they're they're doing to lift their mood together through the beautiful act of folding cranes and reaching out across the world and sending these circles of smiles and to me the heart that care is what connects it all so this is dedicated to you yumatomo so I'm going to try to show you how to do this. I have to say this is only for the probably the most skilled. So you can either just watch it or do give it a go. I'll do my best to explain. But as I said, this is a definitely a tricky one. First of all, be extremely familiar with how to fold a crane. That's your basis. So let's get going. Um, as I said, it may be hard for you to follow unless you're very familiar with folding cranes. So do use one of my previous videos to get going on cranes. Here we go. So I've actually got, I think, fairly good quality, slightly thicker paper. I'll make just a big square, first of all. So I'm making a big square. There we go. Nice right angle triangle. This was a nice one to suddenly realise that this would be a possibility. Curious whether anyone else has done this. I couldn't see that they had. I'm going to remove this rectangle, so just turning it over. Lifting it up and bringing it back like so. So for this fold, you will also need scissors. <laughs> it is needed. Uh, open it up. And as I said, connected cranes are beautiful, but surprisingly tricky. So don't expect this to be simple, but it's a good little challenge. I thought I'd share it with you because it's probably quite novel. So I've opened it up. Right, to do a pair of cranes, we actually just want half of this square. So I'm just folding it over. Like so. Good strong fold. Opening it up. A little bit there. There we go. So this is what we've got. It's a rectangle, which is half our, obviously half the square. So first of all, we'll do sort of two crosses, one at each end. So I've already got part of a cross there. I'm going to just fold it over. There we go. And opening it up the other way. So it's two crosses. And in this case, we're doing everything from this one side. There we go. So it's looking like this. Now we're just going to do a middle line there. But don't do that line too hard because this is going to be where the connection is between the cranes. So if you did a really strong fold, it could damage the paper. So just go fairly softly. So just so you can see it. There we go. Right, so I just want you to turn it over and we're going to do a fold right the way through there. We'll do some cutting in a moment, which is essential for doing connected cranes. There we go. 
And next I'm going to do the set of vertical there and a vertical there. We're basically doing the base for the crane, but twice. So, and then the other end. I'll also try and do a video of sort of just filming just hands so you could maybe just watch that if you wished. Okay, so here goes on the cutting. So between the two, we'll need to do a, a slot. So you could, for normal connected cranes, you would cut sort of from there to there. But I've realised that you can include a heart. So I'm going to do the heart first of all. So something like this. You can see that's the sort of top of the heart and I'm also going to cut there. Now I will want to end up leaving obviously a connection there. Not too wide but then again not so narrow that it could break as well so it's a, it's a tricky old one. Um, and I'm then going to remove this so I think I'm going to take this kind of shape out. Something like that. Right, let's just see how it's looking first of all. You can see that there is a heart beginning there. There we go. And so I am going to then follow that up to the top. Like so. And I'm leaving a connection there otherwise you'll have two separate cranes so again it's a tricky one because you need to leave a connection and yet if it's very wide it doesn't look good and if it's very narrow it could break but i think this is what i've got this is the basis for me to give it a go anyway you can always slightly make that more perfect if you wish the heart or you can even do that later on i'm going to make that a tiny bit more pointed there we go i think i'm fairly happy with that Right, so let's get folding. If you want to add colour to this, I found it's a good idea to add it at the end because I tried first of all felt tips before and it weakens the paper and then it can break in between. We don't want a broken heart, do we? So, okay. So if we turn it over, no, sorry, keep it that way. First of all, you want to bring this to become a square. Sorry, the other way around now. <laughs> So you want to pop it, that's it. You will find basically where it will come together as a square. As, as I said, please get very familiar with folding cranes. So I am bringing this down to a square. If you do that on each end. That's it. And you can see the heart connecting those cranes. Oops. Right, took me a little while to realise which way to fold the paper. So clearly this is the centre of the crane. Now um, the side that you sort of work on the most will become the wings and the wings you want at the side so that the heads meet. So to do this, turn through a page like that and we're going to take this edge and fold it up along that diagonal line. Like so, and then do the same on the other side. There we go. So let's have a little look what's going on. I'm afraid I sort of need to see my hands as well, and I'll try and do a video looking just down on my hands or sideways just at my hands so you can see but this will be one for you to puzzle over really um, the top as I said be very familiar with how to do a crane I'm just folding that over right if you go to the back you're going to do the same thing so I've tended to just work on one crane at a time when I try to do four I attempt to do them all at the same time it, it really didn't work that way so all the time just being very careful and patient with the paper and you can't really put it down 
tend to find. Um, there we go. So you're going to take the top, fold it forward, open it up. And as you'd normally do for the crane, as I said, be familiar with how to do a crane. You then lift this layer up. Now it's attached, so it's even hard for you to now see what I'm doing. Almost, yeah, it's a fascinating process. And as I said, I think this is probably one of the hardest things I've done, actually. The connected cranes, apologies, you can hardly see what's going on, and it's because it's connected to the other piece of paper. So if you're doing six, as that picture showed, I, I cannot imagine. Very tricky. So hopefully you will see better on the other side. Over here, opening this up, holding that top. As I said, you need to be familiar with the crane to have any chance with this. Very familiar with it. Like so. So we're going to take, you can see these have become the wings and this will become the head and neck attached to the heart. So you sort of, as you would normally with a crane, just tightening up the sides. So I'm tightening this up and then the same on the other side. So that they meet all the time, you're having to be very careful and respectful of the paper. Same on the inside. Hard to see. And then the same here. There we go. And the next step, as you normally would with a crane, is to sort of open up the side, bring it upwards, in on itself. Like so. Most of my videos, hopefully you could follow, whereas this, it does require someone who's very familiar with the crane to be able to do this, but do practice a lot before. So I'm going to take this as well, for bringing it up into itself. Obviously, I'm having to be very careful because there's a delicate little connection of paper there. Upwards. Oh, see, that one isn't folded in enough. And then into itself, as you would with the crane normally. Right, so we've done sort of half of it. Like, see, like that, can you see? That's going to be a head holding that. So now we're on to the other one. So if we go on to that sort of square area. So again, where it's touching, we don't want to be playing with that side. So a leaf through to the plainer one. And obviously you've got to be very aware as to where the paper is there so as not to damage it. You'll definitely find your tongue sticking out, I think, this. Blimey. So if you just go very slowly and carefully, you should be fine. Again, folding it to the middle. The same with the other side, so that they meet. There 
there we go and then that top bit folding forward and then onto the back again I'm having to be very careful with this little connection there so just moving it however feels okay being careful not to tear So, and again that triangle folding forward and then opening up the layers as you normally would and then opening it up and then bringing it inward Not easy. You just have to be very patient, very careful, very mindful of the paper. So I'm bringing it inwards, and they're kind of that's obviously going to be a wing, and that's sort of more leggy end in a minute. I'll we'll have to bring inwards. Right, that will do for that side. And then the other side is easier because it's not connected, so it's much easier. Opening that up. Holding that top triangle. And then again, folding inwards. There we go. One side and then the same on the other. Obviously, none of this is easy. It's certainly not simple. It's part of the joy of it as well. And then here it's going to be really tricky folding that inwards without <laughs> without tearing anything, and that's your that's your little mission at this moment in time to do that. There we go. So it's the same thing, you've got these sort of two bits sticking down like a normal crane, opening up at the side and bringing upwards and in on itself. So even at this stage it looks a little bit uncertain what's going on. So actually opening up the wings will really help. So as again as you normally would with the crane, opening it kind of puffs up the base. And the same on this side too. So opening up the bodies. Now you can see the hearts there, but there's no sort of heads. So again, treating it as you would a normal crane just to try and put in a little head. So I'm putting my thumb in there, bending it down, squashing it inwards to try to make a head. And it will also help with the position of the heart too. See if I can do the same on the other side. Definitely difficult. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm trying to get get a head down as you normally 
could do. I think that that is it. Um, it's a real puzzle. Really be confident with your cranes, first of all. And then with time, this should emerge. You can also maybe colour in that heart too. I think that's rather nice. And again, opening up these bodies will really help. They're holding up that heart together. In this case, it looks like the hearts. There it is. There's the heart. I'm just going to colour that in as well. And you could even sort of slightly reshape things too if you wanted to at the cutting there. So, yeah, I've rather liked colouring that in. There we go. I think it's worth not doing this too early. There we go. So connected hand, connected cranes with a heart. And I hope it's going to work for you. It's going to be a puzzle. But it's a really good one. <laughs> Happy folding.